Well, here I am with uh, another video on my RCA EY3 pho phonograph. Um, got it back together, got a new cartridge in it. Uh, the amp's been totally rewired. Um, the parts have been adjusted, greased, oil is needed, and clean. I uh, haven't cleaned the case yet, a little bit of dust there, but I'm going to go through and clean this backlight case and make it shine, and I'll show you that after. Uh, right now I have 12 records on there, and uh, do a little demonstration of the ability of these this, these uh, awesome RCA 45s. Uh, it'll handle 12 records without a problem. Okay. Volume is very sensitive at low volume. And it has power. That cartridge puts out a lot more voltage than the original RCA crystal cartridge because they just didn't have the technology back then. But you can see, it's got a good sound. Uh, of course, you're hearing it through my phone, but uh, it's got very good acoustics. I... So this is the eject process here. And Jack's fine, drops just one record at a time. And uh, you'll notice the next time I eject it, the arm comes up pretty high, which it's supposed to. That gives it the clearance to handle uh, 12 records. Uh, actually, it'd probably handle 15, but um, I've got 12 on it at the moment. So there's a little Michael Jackson. Now these records are old, they're not very clean. Um, they're just some I picked up here, there, and everywhere. They need a good cleaning. And some of them are just scratched. But all in all, they're, I'd say, good condition. On this one, I'll manually set the arm close to the end of the song. It's a little bit of skip there, but it looks like it's going by it. And if you can see the arm, I don't know if you can, but you see the clearance on the records. It lifts way up in order to allow a st high stack of records. Not a bad sound for something 60 years old. And I'm just going to work through at this point and show you the ejecting. But uh, later on, when I get it all finished and clean, I might make a few videos of just some good 45 music. And you know I'm loving every minute of it. Being able to uh, restore an old 45 player. Uh-oh. a little bit of issue there. There we go. I'm going to have to do a little bit of checking on that. Very good at low volumes, low sensitivity. Very good sound. Of course, you can't beat tube sound, and this is, though it's only a preamp and an amp tube, it's got a great sound.
of seasons. This is a little bit more of what this record player would be used to playing. And that record is worn out. I'm just jumping through because I want. I have not even tested 12 records. I've tested eight, so this is a test for me as well. Oh, it seems to be doing fine. Little hiccup on that one. Maybe it just wanted to play that record. <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, sometime I record these records, uh, some of them, and. I list them on my uh, classics. Gotta love the classics. A little bit of Adam Ant. Is this the train that doesn't move? Was all she said. But I knew I'd heard that stranger's voice before. I turned to look. And there we go, number 12. Quite a stack of records. RCA EY345 player playing songs like it was meant to be. Well, I appreciate you checking in with us, and uh, I'm going to give this baby a good cleaning over, and then uh, we'll do one final presentation. And um, appreciate you checking in. Have a good day. Bye bye.